the next problem statement is to understand the file positioning functions like ftl fseek ftl so fseek declaration fseek file pointer long int offset so we are going we're going to give the number and the constants the constants like seek underscore set seek underscore current seek underscore end so within this given declaration so what is the use of fseek fseek function is used to move file pointer position to given location where fp is nothing but it's a file pointer offset is nothing but number of bytes or characters to the offset moved from whence the current file position the current file pointer position what are all the, these constants are nothing but this is the current file pointer position from where offset is added so below three constants are used to specify this they are seek underscore set so it moves file pointer position to the beginning of the file seek underscore set it moves file pointer position to beginning of the file seek underscore current it moves file pointer position to the given location seek underscore end it moves file pointer position to the end of the file so these three are the constants which we are going to give for the f seek now here file pointer i have initialized one file pointer one char data to store the data and i am reading one file that is 1.txt so in this 1.txt learn coding learn coding from virtual learn so this is a content which is there as part of this particular file so i am opening this file in the read mode as this file is exist i am not giving any checking condition like if the file pointer position equal to null so i am not going any of those condition because this is one file which i am going to give it 1.txt which is already exist so f gets of data comma 60 so 60 offset offset is nothing but we are going to read the contents of this particular file that is whatever the content which are there till the 60 offset we are going to take all the contents of that particular file and i am storing it in data so before fseek function what is the data which is there we are going to display the fseek data next to set the file pointer to 21st byte or the character in the file so we are going to set the file pointer position to 21 so in the given text from the 21 whatever the data is there the rest of the data will be printed so we will be seeing in the output next f gets data comma 60 fp so i am going to store again the data in it and after f seek what is the data what is the rest of the data which is there from that particular file pointer position to the end of that particular data next to find backward 10 bytes from the current position so from the given current position so taking 10 10 bytes back side that is the reverse in the reverse what are the content which we have that content will be displayed from this particular statements next 7 bytes from the end of the file so in a given file there is an end of the file from the end of the file we are trying to seek the 7 contents whatever they are there as part of the file and we are setting the file pointer to the beginning of the file with this f seek so apart from this we can also use rewind of fp which will make the file pointer position to set at the beginning of the file now let me execute this code and check what are all the different file pointer positions and the content associated with this particular file so if you can see here before f seek learn coding learn coding from virtual learn because the 60 so it is less than 60 that is the reason we got the entire content if you want you can also set the limit for this particular content so i have got learn coding learn coding from virtual learn before fseek next after seek underscore set so seek underscore set i have set to 21 so 21 characters after 21 characters whatever the characters are there till 60 it is going to print so this is what 21 60 next let us count here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 so till this 21 position where we have got this and now we are setting the file pointer position 
from here. So that is what the content which is displayed from here coding from virtual learn. Next from here 21 after getting the 21 to find backward 10 bytes from current position. Now the current position is at virtual learn that is the last n from here I am going to take 10 back okay 10 characters on the reverse minus 10 is nothing but backward now let us count from the uh, backward 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 characters from the back side that is minus 10 we are seeking from the current position and backward the next one is to find the seventh bit seventh byte before the end of the file so before the end of the file we are going to take the seven bits so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so these are the seven bytes so this is how we can use fseek uh, function and in order to get the specific position we are going to use ftl ftl of that particular file pointer in order to get the file pointer position we can use ftl so here i'm going to write printf the file pointer position is at the file pointer position is at as it is an integer i'm writing percentile d comma ftl ftl is a function ftl fp so it gives me the file pointer position so this we have set to the zero seek underscore set we have set to the beginning of the file seek underscore set see here seek underscore set it moves the file pointer position to the beginning of the file so if i see the ftl value over here i should be getting like zero so let me execute this code once again and check for ftl so the file pointer position is at zero now if i want this file pointer position somewhere around here now after this 21 characters after this 21 characters now let me see the file pointer position here so let me execute this code and check the file pointer position so the file pointer position the file pointer position is at 41 the file pointer position is at 41 so if you count this total number of characters whichever they are there as part of this line the last position will be 41 so for just cross checking you can just count the number of characters and you can see the last uh, last file pointer position will be 21 so let us just count 5 6 5 plus 6 is 11 11 plus 1 space is 12 13 13 plus 5 is 18 18 plus 1 space 19 19 plus 6 25 25 plus 1 space 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30 plus 1 space 31, 31 plus 10 is 41. So the current position, so after moving from the seek set 21 to the end of that particular file, so we are getting 41. So this is how we can also understand the file position with the help of FTEL. FTEL is used to give the position of the file. Now instead of using this particular statement, let me also show you with another uh, file positioning function. So we can also use rewind, rewind, rewind is nothing but, so it will take the file pointer position back to the beginning. So instead of using this FC, I can also write rewind of FP. Now after rewind of FP, the file pointer position will be again at 0th position. Let me execute this code once again and show you so here i have missed semicolon semicolon let me execute this code and check what is the file pointer position the file pointer position is at 0 which means rewind is used to make the file pointer to go to the beginning of the file so here uh, ftel fseek ftel and rewind functions of file positioning okay so this is how we are going to use the rewind rewind is used to make the file pointer position to go to the beginning of the file 
because here we have made the file pointer to go to certain locations right. So um, to make the file pointer to go back to the beginning we are going to use rewind. So this is the usage of the file positioning functions like fseek, ftel and rewind functions.